it happened on 9-11, kind of ironic, and it was kind of like a, a sucker punch shot, you know, was, that whole day was kind of like your death in the family. We were told they, were need, they needed to take about 800,000 uh, tons of pulp off the market, paper off the market, and that's what they've done. I called uh, my house member, uh, Lynn Greer, that morning and was talking to him and he said he had been in a meeting uh, with Governor Bentley that morning and uh, the governor tried every way possible to try to keep the, offer them options to keep the mill open, uh, but they were, had made their mind up and the board had decided to close the mill. Uh, I don't think the whole community has really has sunk in yet. Uh, it'll take a while. You know, we're still operational and running until maybe into March, February and March, uh, until they send us home. Then it'll hit home and hit the paycheck. For every one person in the mill, there's about 20 more outside the mill that will be affected by this, directly by it. Real good to the community. Uh, real good place to work for. Uh, we just hate that they're leaving. They're shutting us down. I was anticipating uh, work until I was at least 65 or older, uh, or being here anyway. But there's a lot of folks that was dependent on this this meal for their their income for the rest of the remainder of their life, and seeing their children come to work. I know there's people here that their their grandchildren are being employed now that came here from other places in in early 70s, and uh, you know their their sons and daughters worked here, and now their grandchildren were working here also. Uh, I'll probably just increase more stuff around the farm and uh, maybe pick up little odd jobs, but uh, I'm able to uh, be able to get a retirement. I'll, I'll draw a little retirement and uh, play with some grandkids and uh, maybe help manage a farm or two for some folks.